psychology and law is a really broad field that looks at kind of the marriage of psychology and the legal system. What I really like about the field of psychology and law is it's an opportunity to take the theory and method that we as, in my field, experimental psychologists use in our day-to-day -day research and apply it to a real-world issue, this case the legal system. The field of psychology and law uses the tools and uses the research methods and findings of social psychology and cognitive psychology, developmental psychology and clinical psychology to examine legal assumptions, test whether they, they really work or not, and think about ways to make them better. What I really love is, is that kind of uh, that bad fit between the legal system and uh, the science of human behaviour and that there's so much room in there for psychologists to contribute to how the legal system deals with people. So it encompasses both research areas where researchers try to investigate things that have relevance to the law and clinical areas where evaluators will work with civil litigants and criminal defendants to help jurors and judges make better decisions about those individuals. I study um, legal decision making broadly. Um, and that includes how jurors make decisions about trial evidence, eyewitness identification issues, how attorneys make decisions about which jurors they might want to remove from a jury. And so I'm a social psychologist and I bring social psychology to bear on all of these questions. Now I'm in private practice and my private practice is national. So lawyers contact me and they're asking me to evaluate their client or the other side's client to help them answer a specific legal issue. Um, my research is in procedural justice, so I look at uh, how people uh, make decisions about uh, whether they've been treated justly and whether they've received just outcomes, and I apply that specifically to the legal system. I study these questions of again, intergroup issues, stereotyping and prejudice, group diversity, and in particular how they play out in a legal setting. I do a lot of work around juvenile justice policy and risk assessment for youth to try and determine who's likely to continue to be violent or continue to be engaging in delinquent behavior. I do a lot of research on juror decision making and also I study the way that lay people participate in the legal system. My research interests are the personality disorder psychopathy, so I work with psychopaths mostly who are involved in the criminal justice system. I teach um, uh, social psychology and I also supervise uh, research students and conduct my own research um, and that's the part of my job that I, I really love. You kind of ask a research question, you, you test that, that question and then at the end of the day you find out something that no one has ever known before. The opportunity to bring about large systemic change. I've helped make case law in a state, so that for me is one of these things that I will always be proud of. The, the future of this field is wide open. There's lots of areas where we still need a lot of research. We're looking for clinicians who have various life experiences, who can contribute their expertise in various ways to help the court system reach better decisions about the offenders who are coming through there every day. The perception from TV shows like CSI can be less exciting than what actually happens. It's not so much solving an individual criminal case. Instead, we're actually focused as a group on understanding what's creating big problems, like what causes criminal offending.